I keep having these feelings or these thoughts of, I keep dreaming of breaking up things. I keep thinking, of leaning, having these leanings towards smashing everything. But when I sh smash things in my head, I smash the chairs and the tables, I smash the windows, I smash the walls. But I don't smash the things I've made or the things that live in this room, like the scorpion or the tank that it's in, or the crickets. It's not wanting to kill life, it's wanting to kill something. It want, it's wanting to kill my fears or it's wanting to kill the things that tie my hands or the things that frustrate me or the things that uh, the things that are symbols of what it is to live in this pre-invented existence. And I, in these moments I hate language, I hate what words are like, I hate the idea of putting these preformed gestures on the tip of my tongue or through my lips or through the inside of my mouth forming sounds to approximate something that's like a cyclone or something that's like a, a flood or something that's like a, a weather system that's out of control that's dangerous or that's alarming and so I hate language in this moment because it just seems like so much bullshit it just seems like sounds that have been uttered back and forth maybe now over centuries and that it always boils down to the same meaning within those sounds unless you're more intense in, in uttering them or you, you precede them or accompanying them with certain forms of violence or violent behavior and even in, in the talking of all this I realized nobody could know what the fuck I was talking about that it it is ridiculous and when it's put into language, but I'm laying on a bed that's my bed, but it's not my bed. It's it's all these things of taste and design and ideas that have nothing to do with me or that I want nothing to do with. And so I submit to them. I submit to the form of this bed. I submit to the feel of the cloth underneath me. I submit to the sense of the sheets or the smell of tobacco that hangs on the covers or the form of the TV waiting to be turned on or the form of images waiting to be released when the TV is turned on. The form of structure of the corners of this room or the windows or the, the light that the windows lets in or the sounds of the street coming from underneath the windows or the sounds of the street that come through the walls or the sounds of trucks rattling over a street two blocks away where there's a metal plate covering it or the sounds of these junkies hanging out across the street or underneath the window threatening to stab each other, threatening to murder each other over a piece of chemical and the sense of the the police who ride by, the sense of the police that patrol the area, the sense of the police that are like some alien world or some alien society or some kind of thing that I've never fucking fit into that disgusts me just at the sight of their markings, the sight of their uniforms, the sight of their exercising of forms of control or their buying into a system that is stupid or the buying into a system that ends up disgusting me every time I turn on the TV, every time I walk into the street, every time I turn a page of a newspaper. And really those things mean nothing in terms of what I'm feeling. What I'm feeling is something else. Maybe it's something about death. Maybe it's frustration about sexuality in the midst of this virus or this disease that I carry and the frustration of a body that turns over time, the frustration of a body that I look into the mirror and it's not me, it's not what I 
embrace in terms of symbols or forms or what I embrace in terms of myths. It's not who I am, and it's like who I am is something that I want to let go, that I want to free up by cracking open something else, cracking open the, and reaching into the inside of me or the inside of somebody else. And I'm not talking about murder, and I'm not talking about physical damage. I'm talking about something that's more elusive in terms of explanation. It's just something, whether it's mortality hallucination that I'm experiencing or it's a meat hallucination in terms of flesh or in terms of body, but it's like I want to live inside dreams. I want to live inside myths. I want to live I want to experience those things. I want to experience those things as completely surrounding me so that it's like a body within a body looking out from the dark recesses of the backs of the eyes.